to announce our speaker today, who is Reverend Rosemary Colorado. Colorado. Rose, Rosemary's, fine. Rosemary's fine. Rosemary's <laughs> fine. Okay. And she's an ordained minister for the NSAC. She's a certified medium, commissioned healer, a natural spirituals teacher. She's also the secretary for the ISF, International Spiritualist Found, uh, Federation. And so she holds many, many, wears many hats. And we are very privileged to have you with us today. Thank you, Rosemary. Thank you. Um, it's always so wonderful to be here. And um, of course, I know many of you. And uh, now that we're all together here, you're all friends. But I especially want to say hello to uh, you, Lilia. Um, I can't look at your photo, your, your video, and not say hello. So um, it's wonderful to be with all of you. But as many of you know, Lilia was one of my first teachers in spiritualism. So it's always um, a wonderful experience to be with her. So, so good morning um, again. And I thank you, Ken, for that wonderful meditation that reminds us that we are all connected. And as we are in our individual physical rooms, I always like to also remind us that through this service, through our intention of being together in this service, we are literally in one room of energy together. So um, I hope you feel the support in that um, and the power of your intention. So before I start, um, on what I am feeling moved to share with all of you, which is about healing. Um, I felt very drawn to share a reading um, with you. Um, this has been another very difficult week for our country and the world. I know uh, many of you feel it, if not all of us, with new episodes of violence and new calls for healing and a verdict that was beyond words in terms of anticipation and all of the discussion and feelings that came with it. And so um, I was drawn to a poem that I wanna share with you before I begin my formal lecture that I first read in the early 80s um, in, a, in an anthology called, this bridge called My Back, um, writings by radical women of color. And this one is by Sherry Moraga called The Welder from another time period, and they all cycle around, don't they, where there was a call for the power of voices to come together in healing. And when we said the, when we recited the Declaration of Principles today, when we called ourselves into that energy, this poem resonated with me always, especially in principle number seven, that call to the balance, what calls us into happiness, what leads us into unhappiness and the personal responsibility of it. Um, so The Welder by Sherry Moraga. I am a welder, not an alchemist. I am interested in the blend of common elements to make a common thing. No magic here, only the heat of my desire to fuse what I already know exists is possible. We plead to each other. We all come from the same rock. We all come from the same rock. Ignoring the fact that we bend at different temperatures, that each of us is malleable up to a point. Yet fusion is possible, but only if things get hot enough. All else is temporary adhesion, patching up. It is the intimacy of steel melting into steel, the fire of our individual passion to take hold of ourselves that makes sculptures of our lives, builds buildings. And I am not talking about skyscrapers, merely structures that can support us without fear of trembling. For too long a time, the heat of my heavy hands has been smoldering in the pockets of other people's business. They need oxygen to make fire. I am now coming up for air. Yes, I am picking up the torch. I am the welder. I understand the capacity of heat. 
to change the shape of things. I am suited to work within the realm of sparks out of control. I am the welder. I am taking the power into my own hands. So my friends, it's a privilege to share that with you because when we talk about healing, and again, that is the word that came to me over and over as I thought about speaking with you today, it is about remembering that we have power, that it starts with a choice to open ourselves up to the possibility, to the knowing that all is possible, to the knowing that we can help others, but it has to start with ourselves. And there's so much of healing because as humans, we long to give comfort, I know. There's so much of healing that is about a focus on specifics because we want to help those who are suffering from a disease or a circumstance or a state of mind. And all of that is important and can be supported. But also as spiritualists, we know that healing is about the overtime activity, how healing, whether we are literally sitting in chairs in our churches or whether we are in the energy that is directed towards us. We know that something else happens over time that changes our energy, that shifts our understanding of spirit, of our lives as spirit within a physical being, as what happens to those we love that go back into spirit who go home. Over time, we literally change the energy of our very being here on earth. And I'm sure many of you could agree or already know that what you understand about life changes over time in that healing energy, in the listening to the spiritualist messages, in the opening up of your eyes symbolically to what is possible. For that is the true core of healing outside of what the physical world brings us as challenges and as obstacles, because it is not the separation that we must heal, the profound, the profound healing, the core of what we are all striving for is to heal the separation that happened when we came into the physical. We are always striving for that wholeness. And we have moments of it, I know you all do, where you feel that glimmer of the wholeness, or you feel a period of time where all makes sense, where you know all is possible, and then the physical world takes us out of that balance. Or perhaps our own decisions took us on a path that was not quite what we thought it would be or should be. It is all about how natural law calls us into that larger balance, into that wholeness. And we have so many clues along the way that nature teaches us that there is wholeness, that there is a larger plan. But that is the work of the physical existence. It's learning not to be so afraid that we are immobilized in this striving for balance, but to recognize the fear as a friend calling us to a different way of thinking, a different way of considering possibility, of remembering as spiritualists that healing is real and powerful. And there is one divine energy that connects us all. So I ask you to think about times when you have not felt that, when perhaps you got off your path and what that felt like. And when we feel that 
lack of balance, when we feel perhaps a desperateness or a sadness, it is simply remembering that spirit is there for us, that this larger promise is there for us that can call us back into ourselves, call us back into that connection with each other and the one source. So not good or bad, right? But all providing information for even when we are out of balance and in our most difficult of places, there is information to be gleaned from that. There is always a choice to come back in. So much of what we do as spiritualists involve the power of the breath. Simply taking a deep breath in and allowing yourself to settle as we do in meditation can help a little bit of that fear shift. And in that little bit of shifting allows more of the light and possibility to come in. Like the images in the meditation this morning, can you not feel the flow in all of this? As physical beings, we know we are vibration down to the tiniest quantum particles. Another clue, as we look at rivers and streams and remember all is flowing, it is all about change. Nothing in our universe stays still or is stagnant. For even in something we may call stagnant, like a stagnant pool of water, is there not things happening below the surface? Things growing and changing, but simply not in the way we might have chosen. Everything is moving. So use those clues. Let yourself flow to that next stage to remember that the balance is about being in that flow of energy. How we live our lives in the smallest of interactions can help us hold that energy a little bit longer can call us out of negativity a little faster if we're open to those clues. But it is not simply about healing an occurrence in the physical world. And I don't mean to minimize the importance of doing that, but I'm encouraging to see that it is not all of it. For when we simply put our attention on what we want in this moment, we lose that larger power, that healing is about all of it. It is about always working on the unity, the remembering. For as we exercise those muscles here on earth, those energy muscles, the next stage, of our journey, our eternal life, brings us more. For as we know as spiritualists, life continues. And in the messages that we share in our services or on other occasions, I offer you the same thought as about healing do not forget that it is not just about that moment. The message of love, of healing, though very important, it is about the fact that the overall life continues, that our lives will continue, and that whether we are physical or spirit, relationships continue, purpose continues. So everything we are learning here, my friends, we bring into the next stage of our existence as we go into spirit to then perhaps help the loved ones we left here in the physical in their 
state of being. And to also learn from those in spirit who went on before us. Do you feel the power of this one connection? So always allow yourself to bless the opportunity of the moment of the circumstance, but let yourself see beyond it to feel that connection to the all because then you are not limiting your own self and your own journey. You are seeing the magnitude of all the possibilities, all the connections to your eternal journey. I hope that does not feel heavy for indeed it is meant to lighten you, to lift you up into a different vibration to recognize that it is one flow, nothing ends. This service may be a period of time, a period of focus that ends, but the energy you've brought to it, what you may have learned, the experience, what the meditation drew you into, that is with you forever. Every experience is always with you. What will you choose to focus on? To keep this healing force being the guiding emphasis of your life, knowing that healing is not about success or failure. It's not about cure or not cure. It is about remembering that there is no separation even though that is the greatest challenge of our physical life. I hope you feel the energy of the promise in that, the excitement that it is always there for us. And yes, there will be days when we are tired, when we do not want to be the welder, but to just simply receive and that is fine. There are always moments that challenge us. I am calling you into your larger view of life as you perhaps get pulled off path. How might you feel the pull back on it a little more strongly? That is what we've asked to do in our journey here. Let us not forget it. Let us strive to use every resource that the universe has given us on this journey of physical existence to learn the lessons that best support the progression of our soul through eternity. How wonderful to know this is not it. I don't have to be perfect. I only have to try. I only have to be willing to see what is possible to make the best use out of what is given to me. To try and come with a, from a place of compassion and understanding in the same way for others. And that everybody's energy, everyone's journey makes a difference. And that is why I like to remind us of the power of being in one room. For when we put our energy into the realization we are together, it exercises that awareness that we are not alone. And while as spiritualists, we may know that more deeply than any other group of people, it still needs practice to keep it in our conscious awareness. So remember, we are each through our own choice, the welders of our own lives, our own paths. And through natural law, you have been given everything you need to make this the biggest 
the most expansive journey it could be. Rest when you need to, and then come back into that awareness. That awareness that healing is a non-stop process, a dance of interaction, of intention, all to leading us, as we like to say as spiritualists, truly to our highest and best. So I hope these words have helped you think about healing a little bit differently and to embrace it in perhaps a different way. Not that we are always fixing something, but it is more about support and the healing that we are called to in this journey of physical life, the recognition that there is no separation between us and spirit. And the physical journey of that strengthens our awareness so we may be part of those beyond this life, helping others before us and helping others that come after us. Thank you.